Like a canary in a coal mine, the polar bear is the equivalent in the Arctic as the first to signal a problem. And new studies point to an accelerated problem associated with global warming. 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence is in the newsroom with that story, Bob. Carol, you may remember those old tales of canary. It used to signal if there was a problem with the oxygen in the mines. Well, new evidence suggests that the polar bear is signaling a problem with the melting of the polar ice. More than just fascinating to watch, the polar bears at the San Diego Zoo are also part of a scientific study to determine what kind of impact oil drilling rigs might have on their hearing. But another study is more worrisome. There's new studies again out uh, yesterday that indicate the ice is melting even quicker. Gary Dewar of Manitoba is teaming with his counterpart in California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and the zoo to tackle climate change. The polar bear is also one of the first signs of the impact of climate change and global warming. Manitoba is the gateway to polar bear country in the north. With the ice melting faster, the bear population is getting smaller. Some estimates have the polar bear basin free of ice within 40 years, something scientists initially thought would take 60 years longer. From the things that they've showed on, on the TV where the ice caps are melting and, and the icebergs and everything, it's really yeah. scary. But while adults may be familiar with global warming, the message isn't getting to the next generation. Well, actually, I don't know about it. You don't know much about it? Okay. Do you? Does anybody? That's where the zoo believes it can take the lead. But are things to the point of being irreversible? This is a process that could be changed with a will. And uh, so uh, I would hate to suggest that there's no hope, because I think if people give up hope, then they aren't going to do anything. Now, experts at the zoo and others around the world are going to take part in something called Tri-P, that is, the Polar Population Project, an effort to develop strategies to correct what's going on. We're live in the newsroom. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.